King Charles III reportedly won't invite Prince Harry to his coronation if his book attacks Camilla, the Queen consort. Prince Harry should be banished from the royal family if his memoir damages the firm, according to a poll. Carried out between October 12 and 13 with 1,624 respondents, Techne UK found almost 7 in 10 Brits think the Duke should be banished if his new book contains damaging statements. In the poll, a massive 68% of respondents agreed that Harry should be banished if his memoirs of damaging statements. Meanwhile, 22% said the Duke should not be banished, and another 10% said they don't know. According to the pollsters, among those surveyed men were more likely to back Harry being banished if his book hurt the royal family, at 71% to 61% of women. Across ages, there was consistent support for Harry being banished if his book was damaging, with 18 to 34-year-olds at 66% support and over 64-year-olds at 68%. The poll also found support for potentially banishing Harry was consistent across political parties. It found 69% of Labour voters in the 2019 general election supported it, whereas 68% Conservative voters were in favour. Out of 57 Green Party voters surveyed, 73% were in favour of potentially banishing Harry, and 68% of Liberal Democrats were in favour. Support was also nearly equal between Remainers and Brexiteers, at 69% and 68% respectively. The Duke of Sussex's memoir will be published by Penwin Random House, and was initially due out in fall 2022 but could be published in 2023. Reports suggested Harry was looking to edit his memoir after the death of Queen Elizabeth II on September 8. According to The Telegraph on September 25, Harry was worried that some of the revelations in his book might not look so good following the public outpouring of support for the monarchy. A source told the Mail on Sunday, Harry has thrown a spanner in the works as he is desperate to get it refined in the light of the Queen's death, her funeral and his father Charles taking the throne. There may be things which might not look good if they come out so soon after the Queen's death and his dad becoming king. He wants sections changed. It's not a total rewrite by any means. He desperately wants to make changes. But it might be too late. Meanwhile, King Charles III reportedly won't invite Harry to his coronation as monarch on May 6 if his book attacks Camilla, the Queen consort. A friend of Queen Camilla's told the Daily Beast, almost everything Charles has done over the past 20 years has, in one way or another, been about getting Camilla accepted by the public. He loves her. He is incredibly protective of her and he couldn't do it without her. Even the Queen finally accepted that. It is one thing for Harry to attack Charles, he can take it on the chin, but if Harry forces him to choose, by laying into Camilla in his book, I have no doubt he will choose Camilla. Filmmakers have also claimed Harry and Meghan Markle's upcoming Netflix series contradicts parts of the Duke's memoir. A senior Netflix source told Page Six. A lot in the show contradicted what Harry has written, so that was an issue. Then Harry and Meghan made significant requests, to filmmakers, to walk back content they themselves have provided, for their own project. If the book continues, I don't think there is any way for Harry to return. The Queen's funeral was an opportunity for a thawing of the cold relationships between Harry and the rest of the royals and pointed to the Fab Four's walkabout in Windsor as a step in the right direction, but added that any suggestion that there's been a long-term and meaningful reconciliation would be wide of the mark. I think there's a way to go.